Previously on Shea Bear 1000. I see these eyes. Oh, it's got an egg sack. Ugh. Wow. I seen its eyes from clear over here. That's a big spider. Uh, maybe we'll do a Bigfoot hunt tonight. Ooh, that'd be fun. There's something crashing through these woods. Oh my gosh, I get through now. Get in the car. Oh my God, is that a bear? I told you that bird got quiet. Oh my God. Should I get Bruno? Yeah, get, get Bruno and get him in the car. See something or hear something. He's been like that for about five minutes now. right where he's looking. He's looking right there. Weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got that. He just had that one paw up. What is it, boy? Watch him, boy. Okay, so our dog's acting strange. Huh. Weird stuff. Okay guys, so nothing else has happened. Heard a little bit of movement, but <clears throat> they were small animals. I could tell that. You know, like a possum or something like that. Nothing major. Nothing like earlier. Monkey finally got calmed down. Her and Bruno's in the tent. I'm gonna have a cigarette. I just ate my salad from supper because I was too full to eat it then. Um, so, I'm gonna finish my beer. I'm gonna have a cigarette. Watch the fire for a little bit longer. Just kind of make sure everything's okay. Then I'll go in and join them. All joking aside, guys, I've been in the woods. I was exploring 63 acres when I was 10 years old. I've been in the woods since. I'm 53 now. So for 43 years, I've never had that happen before. Ever. If I had to take a guess, I mean, I would say a bear. It was big. Um, you could just tell 
but it sounded like it was walking in on two feet though because we heard it coming i thought maybe it was a hiker or something at first and then it just kept getting stronger and stronger and then just all at once it started because we turned around and when we stood up it just started going ape shit man so i do believe in sasquatch i don't know if that was because like i said i don't know of any sightings in uh in this county you know I man i've heard people talk about them before and hearing things and stuff but i i don't know of any you know i'll, I'll check it out and find out for sure but you know we're in citrus county and i did sasquatch sightings i don't know so the only other thing that's that big that can make that kind of noise would be a bear and why it stayed there thrashing around like that and then just stop i don't know so it had to be a bear but um it's, it's really disturbing now I, like i said i've never never had to happen before that's the scariest i've ever been in the woods in my life And I'll tell you, when I had that bear encounter, this was scarier than that because I seen the bear. You know, he wasn't aggressive. He wasn't growling or snorting. He never, not one, not once, did he stand up or scrape his paws. He wasn't aggressive. He didn't. You know, when I was I was walking backwards, he walked. When I stopped, he stopped. And when I got out into the open, this was at the other pots preserve. When I got out into the open, um, and then it just turned around and walked away. So, yeah, I was a little scared then. I mean, but this actually, I mean, I was actually shaking. This really scared me, guys. Uh, I was actually shaking. I wasn't shaking with that other bear encounter. Though I was, I was scared, but I wasn't frightened, you know. I was more concerned. So like I said, it wasn't acting it was aggressive, but I was walking backwards. So I had to be careful. I didn't want to fall and scare the bear or whatever. So, but this was a lot scarier than that. I think mainly because I couldn't see it. You know, I just couldn't see it. But it was close. Hopefully, the camera picked it up. So. Like I said, I'm gonna finish this and. Watch the fire for a little bit. Make sure everything's still cool out here. And then I'll go to bed with them. And uh, if nothing happens, I'll see you in the morning, you know. So, anyway, guys, night one. We still got one more night. <laughs> We're going to try to go do a little fishing tomorrow. I'll bring you along with me on that. And uh, maybe we'll catch something. I don't know. We'll see what the uh, trail cam caught. If the trail cam... <laughs> Frogs are freaking me out now. <laughs> if the trail cam caught anything or or what. So I did move it farther in. Into the... Uh, into the woods. So... Um, when I did that, the uh, IR light was on. Uh, so I don't know I was behind it so I don't know if it just picked up my shadow or she was shining a light around and maybe it picked that up we'll just have to see what kind of footage is on that but anyway guys thanks for joining me on day one <laughs> like I said we didn't get here until after four so and then we gotta leave Thursday um, by 11 they don't really enforce it they don't come around and check or anything it's just you know kind of an unspoken rule uh but i try to get out of here on time you know in case someone else wants the place because these, these places are hard to get into man they're always booked so yeah if nothing happens i'll see you in the morning but if i start hearing things or if i get bored i'll kick you on and talk to you but it's after one right now 
yeah it's uh it's like 103 so anyway good night sleep tight guys <laughs> we'll see you in the morning hopefully <laughs> Over by the camera. Yeah. It doesn't sound as big as the first thing. That picked it up. Alright. Try to go back to sleep. Good morning, YouTube. It's late morning. We're gonna have brunch, huh? Yeah. Well, we got up early, like at the crack of dawn, and well, we both went back to bed. <laughs> so, it's about 10.30 now. So... Uh, 10.45, but we're going to make some brunch. <laughs> right. I'm going to make, uh, well, it was supposed to be bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. <laughs> we was discussing yesterday over the phone, messaging, <laughs> what we was going to eat, and I was like, Hey, you know, tomorrow for breakfast, I can make you bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. She, <laughs> she said, oh, okay, what's in it? <laughs> so, <laughs> I wrote LOL, bacon, with a picture of bacon, egg, with a picture of egg, cheese, with a picture of cheese, and bagel, with a picture of bagel. Guess what she forgot? The bacon. The first one on the list with a picture. And I forgot it. That's what I just said. She forgot it. So I guess we're just gonna have egg and cheese bagels. So. Sorry. Oh well. <laughs> Let's kick this up real quick. Okay, so. I'm gonna light this up.
I'm sure it'll taste fine. Just think it may taste better with bacon. <laughs> so, all right. Let that get melted. This is a real easy breakfast, man, for camping. If you got a way to bring eggs, but you see them guys hiking into the campsite all the time carrying eggs, so. A lot of them big time YouTubers, if you look in the background real close through some of them trees, you'll see cars going by. And they're like, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. But we really are out in the middle of nowhere. Um, but we're not far from civilization. So that's kind of cool. Um, we heard some airboats yesterday. They bring them airboats in. You know, you only need six inches of water. Around. Well, you really don't need that. You can run them on the... On the uh, <clears throat> cross the land if you want to but so they come in these marshes and they go and have their little fun and stuff so all right let me get this melted up okay so we're going to just put these on here and toast them up uh we were just talking about last night that was crazy um you saw the other clip of their where we heard something but that was rustling we figured that was just you know um, coon or possum or something but that's not gonna fit but um then it happened again Bruno was going to ape shit and finally monkey woke me up and it was the same thing I mean it was close to the tent but I think it was a raccoon or possum Man, that first thing, we're still talking about that. That was crazy. She said, would you still come out here and do your solo? I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, why not? <laughs> I remember you sleeping in a hammock then. Well, you know, it's made out of the same stuff the tent is, so. <laughs> and I'll be a little farther away <laughs> from the woods. Because <laughs> I, I found a perfect tree up here. It's like laying over about five feet high, six feet high, and I can hang my hammock underneath it. It would be really cool. All right, so I'm going to get the... That was my bad hand too. Got it. All right, let me get these, um, let me get these toasted up, then we'll start on the eggs since we don't have any bacon. <clears throat> Hey guys, brand new thing eggs, one missing. And she said she even opened it up at the store because she always does checks for cracks. But there is an egg missing. Very, very strange. And she says, who takes one egg? Alright, I'm gonna put the rest of this butter in here. I don't know, Mama. It's dirt on here. It's awful windy today. We're not sure if we're going to be able to go fishing or not, huh, Mama? Is this right on the like on the Gulf or in the ocean? It's not bad. You can fish when it's windy, but around here, we've never ever had any luck when it's windy. So we may have to find. May do explore or something, huh? Monkey said, "Go in the woods and look for Sasquatch." Whatever you want, monk. Whatever you want. We'll fry these up and I'll put them on her bun for her. Some dirt on there. Then we'll put some cheese on, let it melt, and I'll make mine. I always make hers first. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Look no. how that broke. It just peeled around it. Oh no. Wow. There we go. I know the lighting sucks. I got this big uh the sun's behind you guys, but I can't put you put you in front of the sun, so let me uh let me see if I can do something about this shadow here. Hopefully that's a little better. That kind of folded over. Now, let's get some cheese on here. And it's hot out here, guys. It's breezy. Thank goodness, but it is hot. There we go. Warm that up in that pan just for a second. Yeah, it's uh let's see, what is the temperature? It says it's 69, but that can't be right because I am sweating. Alright, there's monkeys. She's in the truck. She's got to pay the power bill, so. So there you go. Now I'm going to make mine. We're going to eat, and then I'll get back to you. We'll see what we're going to do. I'm not sure if we're going to go camping. I'm sure we are going to stop by the house, though. So stick around. I meant fishing. We're going back in here. We're going to get the camera. And then I'll. We're going around the house, get Bruno a, uh, a little chair for him to sit on. And then um, while I'm there. I'll go ahead and check this card. Whoa. Tree stump there. It's, let's see if there's anything on here. <coughs> Battery's getting low, which it shouldn't, but it is. Let's hit play and see if we got anything. There's stuff on here, but that's daytime, so that might be just now. That's just now, I think. Oh, there's stuff at night, so, okay. Go ahead and shut that off. And I'm gonna take this, since we're leaving for a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the truck. We'll get the memory card out and see what's on it. If there's anything on it, I'll put it in right now. Then we'll do the same thing again tonight. So Monkey can't find her camera. No. So she got an idea, which was a great idea, her watch thing. Yeah. So it is under something blue, and it kind of looks like her mat. So she's going to go check. That was a good idea, Monk. Yeah. So here, let me see that. I want to see if I can pick you up moving it and picking it up. Okay. Here, let's, let's get you over here where we can see you. See it. Nothing's moving, so you ain't close. Still, nothing's moving. Well, there's something blue there. Keep moving stuff. <laughs> oh, it's moving. It's moving. Got it. <laughs> she got it. It was your blue shirt. Oh. It was 
It was in the bag? Yeah. That's a good idea, Monk. Yeah. Let me see you. Let me see you. Right here. No, let me see oh, you. There I am. Can you see me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just thought that was pretty cool. Good idea, Monkey. Yeah. <laughs> so we're heading back out to campground. The uh, trail cam didn't pick up anything. Um, While well, it picked me, it picked up me setting it up and moving it, and then this morning going and getting it. So we'll try it again tonight. So there was nothing there, or well, nothing set it off. But we heard stuff last night, so I was hoping maybe we'd get a coon or something. But I might have had to point it up too high. So this time tonight, I'll point it a little lower. Here's the road we're we're on. Yes, it's a rough road. I was reading some of the reviews on this camp area, and four or five of them kept complaining. Well. You know, it's not good for a fifth wheel. You don't want to take a fifth wheel back there. Well, what part of backcountry camping don't they get? If they pave this road and start putting parking lots out here, it's not going to be backcountry anymore, right? Yeah. Right, Monkey? Yeah, it's not for RVs. No. It's, uh, there's one section there that's equestrian where you can come in with your horses and stuff. You don't have to have a horse. You can still camp there. But we're back in the oak, in the oak hammock section, which is, um, you know, for tents and stuff too. So yeah, there's no water. Well, there's water, but it's not, you know, you can't drink it. But there's no electric or anything. It's primitive. But people, they want to. It's like, I hate to say it, but man, you know, them, them big time. Then people that's got them RVs and the big trailers, the fifth wheel trailers, camping trailers and stuff, they treat us tenders like we're crap. And now they're wanting to take over tenting areas. Yeah. And that's not right. No. You know, they do, they treat us like crap. And they never come out of there, you never see them come out of the trailer, they don't cook out. And all you hear at night are their air conditioners running, like that thing there. Mm -hmm. All you hear is their air conditioners running. And you know, sometimes generators are supposed to, you're supposed to turn your generator off at 10 o'clock. They'll leave them run all night long. And you know, and we hear TVs going, I'm out here to get away from that stuff, you know? But yeah, they, they act like, you know, I'm better than you. You guys are peasants, you know? <laughs> but everything we got's paid for. FedEx racing through here. I don't care about FedEx. You can slow down. Cause we're turning right up here anyway. Yeah. And because this dead ends up here, but we're gonna go to the right. There is some water here. We probably could have fished that, but it just got too windy. It's very windy. So there's some water right there. It's been windy for what, weeks now. Some water up through here. We could fish in. Plus we're only like five minutes. If that, no, probably not even five minutes from the river. So we didn't even get the poles. We just, uh, we'll just come out because we're going to do a review, huh, Mama? Yeah, we got to go look for some wood for tonight. Yeah, we're going to go get some wood and so we can have a real fire. That guy needs to get off of our ass. Kid. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be coming up here. We gotta go around this turn and then we'll come up to the gate. And here we got the check-in station for deer and turkey. And there's a fish cleaning station there. Although we are a little ways from water, but not far. We are in bear country. Yep. See the sign? Uh -huh. It says bear country. Unfortunately, Monkey couldn't find the deer spray at Walmart. Nah. <laughs> that was funny. She said, well, I, I even looked for it and they don't have any there. <laughs> Probably ain't got any anywhere. <laughs> that could be the problem. You were looking for deer. No, nah, that's bear spray. I want deer spray. <laughs> no, I didn't find any. Then she says, last night, 
What'll happen if if I spray the bug spray in his eyes? I said you'll piss him off. <laughs> <Huh>? Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe that would help. So, we're up here off to the right, and that's where you can go with your horses if you got horse trailers and stuff. You can bring your horses out here, Looks ride like them. They got horse trails. Looks yeah, they took off. Yeah. They left. There was a big tent right in them trees, yeah. and there was only two people there. And the car people left, too. No, yeah. they're there. Oh, yeah. Driving. But, uh, yeah, that was a big... A big tent for just two people. Somebody else came in. Oh, that's a new person. Yeah, yeah. the car people did leave. Yeah, that's new people over there. Yeah. Cool. Uh. Yeah. But yeah, they had a huge tent, probably I don't know, a twelve person tent. Yeah, it was big. It was huge, like three rooms. <laughs> yeah. I think there was only two of them. There though. was only two of them, yeah. a man and woman. That which is I mean it took that whole little clump of yep. trees there yeah so mm -hmm. and we're going back into our little camping spot here yeah we're clear up here it's so pretty for here though. there's our camping spot right there There it is. <laughs> oh, I forgot to show them the tree <laughs> where I can hammock camp. Oh, so, hey. yeah, we're clear at the end here. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do tonight you've never done before? I don't know. We're going snipe hunting. Oh, we are? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're going snipe hunting. She's from Canada. Never been snipe hunting. So, I don't know. So, I'm going to teach her how to snipe hunt. Go ahead, hon. On up. Easy, oh. on up. <laughs> go up a little bit more. All right, there we go. Cool. Yeah, a monkey's sitting over in the chair. <laughs> Her camera's clear over. I'm like, are you ready? And she's just like, because she has that thing, that watch thing. Yeah. That controls her phone. Okay, so this is what we're going to be checking out. Just a quick review. It's not a review review. So we're just going to well. I'm just going to keep it in my video I don't know about her Ozark trail outdoor equipment five gallon solar shower yep. Right there And she picked us up what was it, 11 bucks. Yeah, it was on sale. Yeah, on sale for 11 bucks This guy up here when, when we came in he's got one He's got it sitting on his on the hood of his car where it's oh, is that what that is? yeah, that's oh. one of these He's got it sitting on the hood of his car in the sun. Hmm. That's the thing about being back in here, we don't have a lot of sun. Right. Which is good, but it could be bad if you want to do something like this. It's not a great idea. But it will hold five gallons. Mm -hmm. And I asked her yesterday about, because uh, she bought some water, one of those water containers. I was like, is that going to go in the shower? She said, no. And I'm like, what are you talking about? No. <laughs> She said, I bought the shower. It's five gallons. I said, hun. I said, it doesn't Wi-Fi water into it. We got to fill it up. And she goes, well, that's what I bought that water for. And I said, that's what I was asking you. <laughs> okay, so we poured the water in here. This little spout. I'm not sure what. This is to hang it from a tree, I imagine. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she can see this. She's filming too over here. Yeah. So... And then this will go on here. Here's your little shower spout. See the little holes in it? Yeah. You use it for your hands. To wash your hands. Yeah. Stuff like that. What's this for? Does this go on here? I don't know. I think you're supposed to read. Yeah, I'm going to here in a second. <laughs> read what? And there's nothing there? Instructions. Oh. Rinse with one tablespoon of baking soda. We did not bring. Oh no! I'm not worried about that though. I mean, we're you know whatever. Yeah, five gallon, eighteen point nine liters for our friends up north and across the pond. Place on flat surface with black side up and exposed to direct sunlight. Place line 
through tube handle as shown. Where? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's what it says. I don't know. It does. <laughs> Place line through tube handle, or yeah, as shown. Shown where? Then it says caution, you know. Oh, right here, I guess. Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah, I was right. That's what this is for to hang it. Right. You just hang it through the handle there. Yeah. But it says lay on a flat surface, and then you hang it up. But okay, so you want to grab up water for me, monk. Sure. I hate when they do this because it kinks up real bad. See that? So I don't know. It still doesn't say what this is for. I'm not seeing a picture of it, just one picture, so I don't know if it goes down here. Like that. I don't know, it doesn't say. Does that tube stay on there? Well I get I guess it kinda of, This know. tube goes here. Oh, that's loose. They should tell you, check for tightening. All right. All right. Yeah, because there's no instructions with it. Just, it tells you. Look at the picture. Okay, so, let's fill this up. I'll tell you what. Well, shoot. Let's, because this is only, Two and a half gallons, so it'll be, it'll fill this half full. Well, that's plenty for us for now. I understand that. Okay. It's clear on that side, <coughs> so that way you can see how much water you have left. Right. It's clear. All right. So we have to. How are you going to do it? Like this. Okay. I don't know if they can see it. So this is what I'm going to do. So bad idea Marty okay well let me see all right do you want me to hold your camera because mine's already in position there I know yours already in position there <laughs> <laughs> old man gets you nothing but the best right well your mom got you the monitor <laughs> yep and I got you the camera yep well I ordered before she paid for it yeah she said when monkey goes to work tomorrow I'm gonna give you my card. I want you to order her one of those things for her camera that she wants. So that little TV that goes on her wrist. <laughs> I said monitor. She goes, whatever you want to call it. That little TV, that's what she wants. I'm like, okay, mom, we'll, I'll order that. And that's what we did. And it and it had to come from China because the only place I could get it and they only had one left. Wow. So, and it was 200 some bucks. Yeah. And we kept waiting and waiting. This was like the end of October, beginning of November of the year before this past one. And uh, it came in on the 23rd of December. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, it's getting close. Okay, so let's fill this up. Now what, what I gotta do is, uh, hang on, cause I, I put my knife away. I don't know what they're seeing. Let me bring you up here. So I got to punch a hole in the back of this water jug. No, it's uh, up on the front. It tells you pierce to vent right here. Yeah. Now it'll come out like nobody's business. That's our business because we're filming, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So there we go. Like you could use the water they've got here for showering. Yeah, you could. Or you can get it right out of a creek. Yeah. Well, um, what's his name? Um, what's his name, hun? Outdoors McGee. Mm -hmm. He's got something similar. He, um, He's got a filter on the end of his. 
Yeah. And then they can use it for whatever and also drinking. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to hold this, guys, and then I'll kick you back on. Turn this on, and it leaks. More like $5 deal than a $11, $11 on sale deal because it's leaking like crazy out here. Wow. All right, let me see if I can fix this. You know why? Because it's on crooked. Uh. Somebody just cross threaded it. Like I said, guys, you know, nobody takes pride in their work anymore. Just, you know, pay me so I can go home. Yeah, right. Okay. I'm going to leave you there for, or cut you off there for a second. I'm gonna let me get this tight and then we'll find a place to set it in the sun. All right. It's hard to do because we are in a hammock. That's cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, it right. is. But... Okay, so there it is. We've got it kind of... The sun's behind a cloud right now, but it'll start, there it is. The sun will go over that way and start beating down on this thing. So we'll check it out after a bit and see how warm it gets. It should get pretty warm, especially down here in the Florida sun or Arizona, Texas, you know, places like that, California. He um, laid it down and put it in the sun. It's, the sun, it's not a very sunny day either. Well, but, it is, but there's just some clouds going by. Yeah. So. We're just going to let it sit. Because we'll still have. See if it warms up. We've got an airboat coming. Yep. It's 2.30, so we still got several hours of sun. Way. We still got several hours of sunlight left, so. All right, guys. Yeah, there's an airboat out there in that swamp. You probably heard him, but. They like to get out there and go around in the swamps. Yeah. But, so, all right, guys, we'll check back with this later. Let's move on to something else. Okay, guys, so here's that chair I did a review on. We brought it out for Bruno. I was going to do a giveaway on that, but then I thought, man, like Monkey said, it's kind of crappy. <laughs> and I was like, well, somebody could probably use it for a kid, which it could. That'd be perfect for a kid or a dog this size. As you can see, the difference in a regular chair and that thing. <coughs> Get it. Come on, Bruno. I'm getting your chair. Come on. Come on. Get in your chair. Wrong chair. Really? See, the dog don't even want to use that thing. <laughs> I guess I'm stuck with it. Well, let's see. Yeah, let me, let me put him on there. <laughs> He's like, I can't fit on that thing. It might be too small for him. We're gonna go get some wood here in a, shortly. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> really? Get up, you just had a bath yesterday. Or day before. Can you sit on that? Now lay. Sit. Sit down. <laughs> sit on here. <laughs> <laughs> this is your chair. For you. Sit on here. Sit on here. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Sit and stay. <laughs> All right, sit we're going to get stay. him used to it. Get up here. Now Good sit. boy. Sit. Sit. He's stay. like I am. That's all he can. Stay. Stay. Mommy sit stay. first and you sit there. Stay. Now, stay. <laughs> He'll get used stay. to it. Stay. Good stay. boy. <laughs> oh. I'm out. Okay, guys, here's the tree I was talking about. I want to hang my hammock under. Right there. Perfect. That'll be perfect for it. So, I think I'm going to put the drone up. I've just got a small window. It's bigger than the window I had to put up in Home of Sassa. But, uh, it wasn't windy there. It's windy here. We got some gusts of wind. Mm, yeah. And... <laughs> The monkey goes, we have insurance. Yeah, but if the wind takes it and I can't get the drone back, the insurance is no good. Right. You have to have that drone to be able to send back. That's why it doesn't cover theft. Because you can't prove it was stolen, you know. Right. Same way with this. If it flies away and, oh, I've got some good footage and $500 drone down the crapper. Yeah. So I'm going to try to put that up in there. See how it's 
it's pretty stable. I mean, I've had it in some pretty good gusts of wind, and it seemed to be all right. Um, I'll just keep an eye on it, and I'll go up as high as I can for you just up above the canopy. I'm not going to go like three or 400 feet because if it's that windy down here, it's going to be real windy up there. Maybe fly it around here a little bit. So let me get it out and get it fired up. So we're just taking a walk on the trail. If we get back, I think we'll make supper. Yeah. Which, like I said, it's just going to be a couple mountain house things. And uh, then it'll be story time. <laughs> I'm on. Yep. Do my story time every night, huh? Yep. So this is the trail we're on. It's not actually a trail. It's more like a road. So we're just going to walk up here a little bit. We already passed the dump the gut dump <laughs> we just drove up to there and parked there and then not at the gut dump but there. where where the sign is that he can't Go you're not ahead. supposed to have vehicles pass so we parked there and we just thought we'd walk up through here and see what's back in here so stick around guys more to come pretty cool kind of came up on a, the other end of the marshy area from where we're at we would be back over in there. It's kind of made like a circle, kind of. Not a circle, but a C shape. The sign on that tree. But you're not allowed to have vehicles back in here, so. Let's go over in here. I might be able to point you and we might be able to see our campsite. Let me get over in there. Okay, so we're back in here a good way. It's so thick here. You won't be able to see, but there was some kind of structure here. There's a bed frame. But Right through them trees there is is uh I know it's hard to see, but right through there is our campsite. About a half a mile, like as the crow flies from here. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm wondering about this. Huh. Don't know what it was. Something was built here. <clears throat> Pretty cool. If I kept walking around here, I would end up 
coming out where our campsite is. Um, there's not really a trail, but if I would blaze my way through there around this tree line, yeah, I would come out by our campsite. So, so quiet here. You don't hear cars. You hear the occasional airboat. Like I said, they like get out in these marshes. Um, but we don't hear any cars, no sirens, thank goodness. We hear sirens, oh geez, probably 20 times a day because we're not far from the ambulance place. And, uh, one of the sheriff's department offices there. And so we hear a lot of that because we're not far off that main road there where we live so this is great not hearing any sirens no jake brakes on trucks no horns or anything so yeah it's pretty cool it is so quiet and the 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 paved road that we came in on to turn on to these dirt roads was Oh, there she is. Was uh, it's used, but it's it dead ends at the river. So sorry about the wind, but it dead ends at the river. And right before you get to the river, if you turn left, it'll take you out to the other pots preserve where we have camped at before. Looks like something rooting around there, probably an armadillo. They like putting their snout down them holes. So, but yeah. So pretty cool guys, we'll be back, huh, a hammock thing right there, <laughs> I think she's getting ready to kick me out or something, no, I am she's not. looking for, oh you can do a hammock thing here and here, what between them two trees, yeah, well I could do a hammock thing with you, you could do one <laughs> there and I could do one between those two trees, <laughs> and we could do a hammock thing together, yep, but we'd have to hike well we wouldn't have to just reserve it and then we park it back there mm -hmm. cool yeah nice and shady clear just couldn't have a fire but that's fine no because i don't think you're supposed to camp here but i don't think they can really say anything right you know so yeah you just bring your little fire thing and pretty through there isn't it yeah it really is awesome it's very awesome here here are some scenes from part three Count stay down. tuned Count down. okay we're good okay let's see what happens if she had to hatch it to take into the tent i want to make sure i had something because we don't have any deer spray here's light like that here's light here's light is he in there no did you see? No.